quite a few people might feel tired, they might feel sleepy or way too relaxed after a hyperbaric session. So they report that instead of having that increased energy that hyperbarics is supposed to provide them with, they actually feel like they have less energy. And the next question is, is this normal and what they should do about it? This is what I'd like to discuss in today's video. First, let's start with possible reasons why somebody might feel relaxed, sleepy, and tired after a hyperbaric session. When we do a hyperbaric treatment, there are several things that are happening. And one of the important benefits of hyperbaric therapy is so-called parasympathetic switch. Our nervous system can be in two states, sympathetic state, which is fight or flight, or parasympathetic state, which is rest and digest. We need both states. It's not like one better than the other. However, when we stuck for too long in sympathetic state, which is the increased stress response, we get a lot of inflammation, but most importantly, we don't heal in sympathetic state. Body heals in parasympathetic state, where it naturally will tend to rest. It doesn't want to move. It would like to promote sleep because we heal when we sleep. So this is what's happening when you're inside a hyperbaric chamber. You're switching from sympathetic mode to parasympathetic mode, which will make you want to sleep more and rest more. And it could be one of the reasons why you feel sleepy and tired and too relaxed after a hyperbaric session. Now, it's not a bad thing. It's not pathological. It's actually a good thing. It means that the body is moving in the direction of cure, in the direction of healing. It might take a long time. Healing doesn't happen overnight usually. It takes days, weeks, sometimes months, or even years to heal tissues that were damaged. So being in that parasympathetic state is good. You get in a hyperbaric chamber and switch to parasympathetic mode, then you feel sleepy and you want to rest. What you should do about it? Well, schedule your hyperbaric session at a time where you know that a couple of hours after that session, you'll be able to rest. Usually it's an evening session that will naturally promote that. So instead of doing a hyperbaric session in the morning one where you'll need to do many things afterwards, so you don't want to necessarily feel sleepy and too relaxed. Schedule that hyperbaric session in the evening and enjoy being in the parasympathetic mode where your body can heal. Second reason why we might feel tired after a hyperbaric session is a situation when the body is initially under increased oxidative stress. This can happen in the situation of chronic disease. When somebody has a chronic disease, their oxidative stress is increased, their inflammation level is high. Hyperbaric therapy, on the other hand, is an oxidative therapy. So it increases oxidative stress by the nature of the therapy itself because we're using oxygen. Now, it doesn't mean that hyperbarics promotes oxidation. No, not at all, because what is happening when hyperbaric therapy increases slightly oxidative stress the body internal capacity of producing antioxidants is increased as well. However, it doesn't happen instantaneously. It takes time, like anything else in the body, it takes time. After the first session that you might be getting, oxidative stress is increased, but antioxidant capacities have not kicked in yet to the point that they can upset that oxidative stress. That's why session one, two, three, people might feel tired after their uh, sessions, after their hyperbaric sessions, especially if their oxidative load to start with is somewhat high, which is high in chronic diseases. And people with chronic disease are seeking hyperbaric therapy to get better. What is the solution for that? Well, if it's just the initial two, three sessions, I recommend just push through because it will get better and person will start to produce more antioxidants internally that will upset the effect of that oxidative stress. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes oxidative stress is just way too high or maybe that person is getting other oxidative therapies at the same time such as ozone therapy or chemotherapy, both are oxidative therapies. So when you add 
oxidation from several therapies, of course, the oxidation level is higher. So it will take time for the body to adjust. In that case, I recommend doing two things. One, if their protocol permits, I would add antioxidants at the beginning of their treatment. And some simple antioxidants could be vitamin C, vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid. I might even add a little bit of glutathione to help them deal with that increased oxidation and still receive hyperbaric therapy. Or I might recommend decreasing the intensity of hyperbaric treatments. And by intensity, I mean pressure. Now, playing with pressure requires knowledge. Can we reduce pressure here if somebody's getting um, treatments and their protocol calls for 2 ATA? Can we decrease it to 1.5 and people still get the benefit? This is up to your hyperbaric uh, therapist to decide. And if you don't have a hyperbaric therapist, I offer hyperbaric sessions. So you can use the link in the description of this video and book a hyperbaric consultation where we can see what is happening in your case, what is going on and what the possible recommendations could be. So if there's an increased oxidative stress, uh, we can push through. If it's just initial stage, we can add antioxidants depending on the condition that we're treating or we can decrease the intensity of hyperbaric treatments. And the third reason why somebody might feel tired, sleepy, relaxed, but mostly tired after a hyperbaric session is the situation when somebody, let's say, has a chronic infection and their mitochondria are in so-called cell danger response. Cell danger response is when the cell sort of not, maybe not goes to sleep, but sort of resorts to performing only essential functions. So it decreases its energy production because it senses a threat, which is an infection, and it goes into hibernation mode. Now, what can happen, sometimes we can overcome the infection, as for example, in acute COVID, but the cell is stuck in that cell danger response. So it moves into post-COVID situation where we feel fatigued and tired because mitochondria still thinks for some reason that there is danger there. We're sending oxygen to that mitochondria in hopes that it will take up oxygen and start producing ATP, but it doesn't want to do that because it's in hibernation mode. It can also happen in chronic infections where threat or latent infections like herpes, Epstein-Barr, HIV, um, or Lyme disease is probably the most common one. So what happens in this situation, on top of the cell being in cell danger response, hyperbaric therapy also amplifies immune system function and oxygen in many cases has direct antimicrobial effect. So we're increasing the immune function capacity. We're adding direct antimicrobial effect of oxygen. And what is happening? there is an increased rate at which the body clears the infection. Now, it is a good thing, right? Because we wanna get rid of uh, microbes. But at the same time, when those microbes die and when all those immune system cascades are in place, there's a lot of inflammation that is happening. There's a lot of gunk that is being created. And this is called die-off symptoms. And this can create, of course, the situation where we feel tired, we feel fatigued, we just feel yucky, and we just don't feel well. In a situation like that, of course, in my opinion, we need to look, okay, which infections are we dealing with? Do we need to add other therapies to support that person during this period of time where the major die-off is happening? Is the protocol that we initially selected with the certain amount of pressure, certain length of the treatment, and certain frequency of hyperbaric sessions. Is this the correct protocol or do we need to adjust that protocol? So these are, again, all the questions that need to be answered by your hyperbaric practitioner or by your health provider who is familiar with hyperbaric therapy. They would know what to look at, what maybe blood tests, extra blood tests to order, and how to approach that. In my opinion, feeling tired, feeling fatigued, relaxed, sleepy, whatever you feel after hyperbaric session, which is not too energized, 
is not abnormal. It's a normal response and it's not a reason to stop hyperbaric treatments. Rather, it's a reason and it's a cause to look into the situation in more detail and adjust hyperbaric protocol. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give us likes and hit subscribe button so more people can see this content and I'll see you in the next videos.